It is through partnerships with Barbados, with the Ministry of Health here, with CARICOM, that we're able to realize this donation and together work to fight against the pandemic and work to defeat it so that together we can restore the health and prosperity of Barbados and the Caribbean as a whole. So the U.S. Embassy is very happy to be here, very happy to work with our partners. This is uh, part of over 200,000 vaccines that were donated to the Caribbean this week. Since the beginning of the pandemic, the United States has donated more than 200 million vaccines worldwide. Because of the state of vaccine availability across the world for developing countries and for SIDS, we deeply appreciate this gesture because it makes a difference in the fight in order for us to defeat COVID, that we can all go back to normal, get economic recovery, and so that we can live our normal lives again. So our thanks to the government of the United States for this tremendous gift. Of course, the fight will continue in terms of getting the vaccine administered to those who have not had or those who need boosters. This is the time now when the protocols are being loosened a little bit. Schools are about to start back in, and this is a most important gesture. As well, we look forward to sometime in the future to getting the children under 12 also vaccinated, and I'm hoping the U.S. government participates in that when it's ready.